The physical appliance used for Maspi and Marpi are the same exact appliance. The concept is that you'll take little micro screws or mini implants and they'll be installed on the pallet and then there's a expander mechanism that gets placed that's secured by the implants and the implants essentially put pressure on the palatal bones and the palatal bones then expand and you get the expansion. The only difference between the MASP and the MARP is that the S in MASP, M-A-S-P-E, is stands for slow and the R in MARPE, M-A-R-P-E, stands for rapid. In a MASP, we will ask that our patients expand the appliance enough just to stress the connection between the right and left sides of the palate, essentially stretching or barely opening up the suture and maintaining the minimum amount of pressure throughout the course of expansion without causing wide separation between the palate bones. When it comes to MARPE, we will apply a lot more rapid heavy pressure with the purpose of actually splitting wide open and creating measurable space between the right and left palatal bones. At the end of a MARPI treatment, we'll typically have, you know, six, seven, eight millimeter separation between the right and left sides of the palatal bone, and we'll have to hold the appliance at a retentive point, allowing time for the bone to backfill into the uh, area where the, where the separation has occurred. When it comes to mass B, because there's very little separation and not much pressure, the bone formation is fairly well paced with the uh, movement of the palate, and there's not a long retention period necessary after MASB. We actually prefer to use MASB because the heavy pressure during MARP has been shown to actually stretch and strain some of the cranial bones and bend them, and we don't like the heavy pressure. With the MASB, the pressure is light and it does not end up creating quite the cranial strain and the bending of the bones and the pressure.